two raids this week at the homes of the um, mogul Sean Diddy Combs, one of them in L.A., the other one in Miami. All this said to be part of a sex trafficking investigation, but we still don't know for sure if Diddy's the target of that. He's been the target, certainly, of a number of lawsuits that we've covered. Uh, some have involved trafficking allegations, and we have the cultural critic and writer Jamila Lemieux to join us right now. We'll get into the legal side of this in just a moment, but what would you say, speaking of the word culture, about the culture that surrounded uh, Diddy for, for years and years. You know, Diddy has been such an influential figure in pop culture since the mid-90s. Um, he's responsible for the careers of so many artists, but he's always been surrounded with rumors of violence and, you know, abusive behavior toward employees, um, toward people in public. He's got a reputation for having a temper um, and for, you know, taking advantage of people professionally. So I don't think any of us expected sex trafficking to be um, among his list of misdeeds, but he's certainly a nefarious character in a lot of ways, as beloved as he is. All right, so let me talk about that a little bit, because to your point, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of space in between, you know, somebody who's somebody's boss and has allegations surrounding them or is known as, you know, having a temper, like you say, and these types of allegations, which, if that's what it comes to, are very, very serious. But, you know, in his inner circle and people he's surrounded himself for years, there have been whispers? I mean, what, what has it been like? Or has it just been known as a guy that, uh, you know, expects what he expects? You know, there have been whispers of violence against women um, towards his former partner, Cassie, toward the mother of his children, the late Kim Porter, but never allegations around sexual abuse, or, excuse me, sexual abuse or sexual assault. Right, which is what we've seen now in some of these lawsuits. So I guess a lot of that is what it's stemming from, right? Is that the idea that it, it came up in these lawsuits? And when you heard about that, you know, given you've known either him or the people around him for a number of years, there's a list of the lawsuits. You mentioned Cassie and some of these other ones as we go down um, to the bottom there, the lawsuit alleging the sexual assault, that, you know, there's a lot in there. Did it surprise you when all this came up, that part of it? Honestly, it didn't, you know. Hmm. I mean, it may be worse than I perhaps would have expected, but to hear that an influential, powerful man allegedly drugs women's drinks and parties with underage girls, unfortunately, it just doesn't surprise me. Sad, isn't it, right, <laughs> that we've had so many of those stories in the news for uh, for so long? So um, how do you think he handles it? I mean, we had his lawyers. We're going to talk about the legal issues that he's you know, facing right now, but how do you think he handles this? The lawyers are lashing out, you know, witch hunt, they're out to get me, that kind of thing. I expect him to try and defend himself. Yeah. I expect that yeah. there won't be... Uh... Oh, there? There it goes. I was going to say, am I the only one not hearing Jamila? But uh, oh, no. her lips were moving. There you go. I think you're back. Uh, I'll let you finish you that me? thought. Yeah. Something. It's like one of those Zoom calls we're on at work and you, you hit mute or something like that. But anyway, finish your sorry thought. I'm sorry, that. Jamila. And then uh, and then we'll wrap it up. What were you saying? Because we, we lost it about halfway through. I think, I think he fights these allegations. Okay. Uh, you know, in terms of the lawsuits that have been filed against him, because ultimately his legacy is on the line. You know, there's yeah. the thought that perhaps he could have survived the Cassie allegations alone, um, but then there were more and more and more, and now federal investigations. So I think he's going to give it all that he's got, but I, I, I don't think he's going to be successful. All right, Jamila Lemieux, we appreciate it. We do hear you loud and clear right now, and uh, thanks so much for coming on. We want to uh, thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.